Shabbat Shalom. Once again, I stand in an empty shul as we start the third book of the Torah, the book of Vayikra. The book of Vayikra teaches us about the use of the sanctuary. Last week's parasha concluded with the building of the sanctuary of God, how a cloud descended upon it and everything was ready for the service. Parashat Vayikra opens with Vayikra El Moshe, God calls to Moses and says, this is how you are going to use this structure. This is how you're going to use the service sanctuary. And then it goes into a list of all the different uh, sacrifices that can be brought in all different permutations. What happens if a person sins? What happens if a person wishes to give a thanksgiving offering? What happens if a person is not sure if they're guilty or not, if they did something wrong, did, didn't do something wrong? What are the processes of can reconnecting or connecting to Hashem? And that's Parashat Vayikra teaches us about the world of Korban, the world of sacrifice. And the points, the most important points to make is that the Hebrew word Korban is completely different to the English word sacrifice. Sacrifice means giving up of something. Korban, from the Hebrew word lekarev, means to come close. What can I do to get close to you, Hashem? What, how can I get close to you after I've messed it up and sinned? How can I get close to you when I'm guilty of doing something wrong? What is the process of getting close to you, coming close to you, Hashem? Well, I want to thank you for the good that you've done for me. This is what Parshat Vayikra is all about. How to get close to Hashem. And in the text, the Torah specifies that there are different sacrifices to be brought. Ve'im, and if you will bring a cow, this is the process. Then if you cannot afford a cow, you can bring a sheep. Bring the sheep. And you can't bring a sheep, bring a bird. And if you can't bring a bird, bring a meal offering, just flour. And each of these are accepted by, uh, by the Kohanim, are offered on the altar as a means of connecting to God. Fascinating. The Torah describes the words, Reach nichoach Lashem. It is a pleasant aroma to Hashem. In the text, I can understand the animals. Having experienced many a barbecue, meat smells nice. And I can understand reach nichoach. But when it comes to the birds, one of the things that really stinks are the feathers. And yet Hashem says, Reyach Nichoach, it is the most beautiful uh, smells for me. And when it comes to the offering of the flower, the Torah describes it, Nefesh, the soul is brought. Literally the poor person when he brings the little sacrifice of the flower, is giving of his soul, this is all he has. And the Torah learns from this, it doesn't matter if you bring a lot or you bring a little. It's all about how you connect to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, how you connect to Hashem. And this is such an important lesson. So many of us think that there's no ways I connect to, can connect to Hashem. I'm guilty of doing this. Or that. I have sinned. And the Torah says, no. Korban. Bring a korban. I want the relationship with you. One of the beautiful expressions, the most powerful expressions that I've heard over recent weeks is that perfection is the enemy of the good. Too many of us think that in order to connect to Hashem, I have to be perfect. And this is my excuse why I do not engage with the religion. 
But Hashem doesn't want perfect. He wants us. And thus the opening to chapters of this book of Vayikra, the new book, speaks about the Korban, the acts that bring us closer to Hashem. And the interesting thing is that Hashem judges us and wants us to function on our level. When you feel wealthy person, physically wealthy, but also spiritually wealthy, the expectation is you will bring a cow. Next level down, a sheep. And if you're poor and humble and don't have anything, even dough is sufficient. This is what Hashem wants from each and every one of us. He doesn't want us to be judging the person next to us. Ooh, they're so much better than us. They brought the cow. I'm a poor person. I can only afford a bird. Didn't make a difference in the eyes of Hashem. When it comes to our, our journey through life, we are each and every, each of us are on our own journey. And this means that the skills that we have and the knowledge that we have, this is what we bring to the table. And Hashem wants that. God wants that. Adam ki yakriv. It says, a person when he brings the sacrifice. There's a fascinating th rule in the Torah. Or a fascinating anomaly that takes place within the Torah. That there are certain letters that are either expanded or elongated or constricted. The opening word of this week's parasha is Vayikra. The Aleph of Vayikra is very small. It's as if Moshe didn't want to write the word, the letter Aleph. And the rabbis in the Medrash pick up on this and say, you know why? Because Moshe Rabbeinu was embarrassed. He said, Vayikra, how can I, how can I talk about, speak about this? God calls to me as if I'm so important. I prefer the word Vayikar without the Aleph, which means it happened by chance. Moshe writes a small aleph. The Hebrew word aleph comes from the root aluf, chieftain, or master. It requires, it indicates education and achievement. When Moshe Rabbeinu writes a small aleph, the word vayikra, He's teaching us how to approach Hashem. Aleph is also the first letter of the word Ani, I. And the one way that we can connect to Hashem is by shrinking our Aleph. When we realize we're not everything, we're not the greatest, suddenly there's space for Hashem. When our Aleph is inflated, we think we know everything, we are the greatest. We're not going to achieve anything. By making our Aleph small and humbling ourselves, we begin the journey of self-reflection and spiritual growth. When it comes to our Aleph, don't look at the person next to you. Perfection is the enemy of the good, it says. Don't worry that the person next to you is as knowledgeable with breadth and depth like a cow relative to your little bird. Hashem doesn't worry about that because He's not comparing you to anyone. He only compares you to you. And as long as your aleph is small, you'll be willing to learn. So Parashat Vayikra teaches us about the world of korbanot. It doesn't talk about the world of sacrifices. It's teaching us about how to get close to Hashem. 
And it doesn't matter the path that you choose. And it doesn't matter how your journey started. If you are willing to maktin, to make small your aleph, your ego, then it opens up a path to connect to Hashem. I wish you all Shabbat Shalom and look forward to seeing you here in our show.